Here we have the Orion X-T8, one of the most popular telescopes that's probably been sold in the past 20 years, and that's for a reason. Uh, it is a reflector. It has all the advantages of a reflector. Uh, there's no lenses. It uses mir uh, parabolic mirror. Also, this one's on a Dobsonian mount. That is the point and click mount. Uh, it's my favorite. Now, this Orion, um, it has a bit of a problem. It has a problem with stiction. Uh, so, you know, once you get it moving, once you get it moving, it's easy to move. Uh, but that first motion, getting it to first move, you actually have to push pretty hard. Uh, same with both directions. Uh, most Thompsonians, they're usually uh, buttery smooth, as they say. Uh, this one, once it's moving, it's pretty buttery smooth. But until that point, um, it's got a lot of friction, actually. So I think we're going to attempt to basically... Uh, Try to get rid of the stiction, but keep some of the friction, if that's possible. Uh, the first thing we're going to attempt to uh, modify is the uh, the azimuth uh, bearing down at the bottom. And that's the part that um, spins left and right. And uh, that's the first thing we'll try. Uh, to show you what I mean, I have a scale here. It's a spring-loaded scale. Um, it's usually, it's meant to weigh things, so it's in uh, grams. So I know I'm, I'm just using a force. I'm just using this to uh, measure. So I'm just going to put a sideways load on this. And we'll see how hard we have to pull before it starts moving. So we're up to 400, um, 500, 600, 650, 700. So, okay, so about... We need to put a side load of about 700 uh, grams, and I know I know I'm using the wrong units, but this is all I have to measure with right now. Let's try again, see if it's repeatable. Six hundred, six fifty. Last time it was at seven hundred. Okay, so about seven hundred to get this thing to start rotating. Once it's moving, it's pretty easy. But um, let's go ahead and take the mount apart and see what we can do we have some we have a first trick we're going to do we're going to actually put it try to put a, a vinyl album there as a, as a surface all right so here's the base uh, you can see the three teflon tabs right there and there and there um, i have purchased an extra large 16 inch diameter vinyl album and i'm going to put it on there uh, but unfortunately it's still not quite far enough so i have to move these I was gonna move the Teflon pads in, but um, I actually have some Teflon, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut a couple more squares and put them on just a little bit further uh, in. So eh, we'll see what happens. Um, and these are these are a little bit thicker, but we're gonna put them in about a quarter of an inch, and hopefully that is that's enough. So go ahead and pause it. All right, so these have to be mounted about a quarter of an inch, so I'm just gonna. Estimate and put a little marker there. Um, that is some tough wood. All right. All right, so put this one back in. That's actually not far enough. Uh, the rumor is it has to be right on the grooves instead of just the flat part, so we're going to move that in a little bit. All right, so we moved it in about a, another quarter of an inch, so it's riding on the, uh, the groovy part of the record. Not just because the music is, is not because the music is awesome, but uh, just it's actual the groove part. All right, now I'm going to do this again over here, again over here, but I'm going to uh, skip that for you. We'll jump right to already done. 
So we have a problem. These cabinet screws actually stick out about a sixteenth of an inch. So those new Teflon pads hit it. And so even if I were to put the album on, it would leave a bump. So I'm going to have to countersink these uh, with a spade bit. So i got to remove these and then uh, drill them a little bit deeper. All right, so counter, countersinking these screws, I have to remove this, drill a hole a little bit deeper, and then put the screw back in. This is going to be the most tedious part. These are Allen heads, so it's going to take a little bit of time. All right, so I just pulled this cabinet bolt out. Um, so I'm going to countersink this a little bit. So let's watch this. It's, hopefully it doesn't destroy it too bad. Okay, that should be plenty. Let's see if this works. Okay, we're gonna try to. These things are making a weird squeaky sound. Like a whistling bird. That was the quietest one so far. It's much more annoying in person. All right, three left. Okay, so that's done. Okay, let's see how this works. Just want to see if there's any. That's actually quite quite smooth. Um, we're gonna try something here. Um, here. We're gonna try something. So my, my goal with this is to reduce the friction. All right, so we just have the new Teflon on. The bigger, it's it's larger pad. It's one and a quarter square instead of one inch square. And if you remember before, uh, we had to pull about 700 grams. I know that's the wrong force, but we had to pull 700 grams on the scale uh, before it would move. So let's see what we pull, just to overcome that that stiction, just the first movement. So five, oh, 500 there. Okay, let's see if, how repeatable. Let's move it a little bit this way. Let's see if we can get. We were doing 700, con oh my gosh, look at that. So, let's see. So we've, we've already reduced it from 700 to, okay, 700 to about 400. All right, let's see what happens when we add the album to it. So next up, we're gonna put the album on here. Um, unfortunately, the hole in the album is um, smaller than this bolt. So I'm gonna have to very, very, very carefully um, make the hole larger on the album. All right, so we made this hole wider it was complicated, but we got it. And let's see if it sits down over the bushing, and it does. So there we go, spinning on the Teflon. I'm very curious to see how this is going to work. So let's go ahead, flip everything upside down, and uh, measure the stiction on this. Read it. All right, so we're gonna. We've got the album on. Oh. We've got the album. Let's see. Uh, uh, in the beginning, it was 700. The album took it down to what, about 500? Is that what it was doing? 4 to 500? And now, we've got the album plus the new Teflon. And, oh, look at that. Let's try that again. Try that again. 200, 300, 
Look at that. All right, let's just uh, move it over here just to make sure that's not kind of a, a good spot and a bad spot. So we've got 200, 300, 350. Okay, so I guess there are some good spots and bad spots, but still uh, greatly reduced. Let's try one more time. So 200, 300, 300. Okay. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the stiction is actually uh, pretty much about the same as just the pulling force that's needed to keep it in motion. Before, um, before you'd pull it all the way up to 700, and then when it would let go, you could pull it with much less. So now the stiction is almost the same as the friction. So it's very smooth, actually. It's really nice. I can just I can just move it with my finger now. So the album trick seems to uh, be working. Uh, and of course, these videos couldn't have been done without my helpful assistant, Caroline.